Gotta have AC in Florida, right? So 2019 Rogue Sport. And my fiance says her AC isn't working. Whenever she's stopped, it's blowing hot. And the temperature is coming up. <coughs> so I that tells me coolant fan found the coolant fan isn't working. I suspect this is a common issue because you can't even get a new cooling fan. The Nissan dealership wants $450 and they're not available for three months. The uh, affordable brands like TAYC, $100 fan, Nissan replacement are out of stock. Um, we've got one on order for I think 290 from some Nissan direct parts online, something or other. Uh, but it's still not going to be here for a month or maybe two. And so anyway, if you got to replace, uh, if you got to replace your fan, you got to remove all this stuff. It's a little more invasive than some vehicles. You might remove this. You pull this forward. There's little tabs underneath. Uh, 13 millimeter bolts, and there's one hidden in the front here. Same over here. 13 millimeter hidden. Uh, 13 millimeter there holding the fan on you've got a couple 10 millimeter bolts that you'll need to remove and then once you get all this off there's also a 10 millimeter bolt that's holding this uh, a, a, a bracket for your uh, AC lines and so there's a 10 millimeter it's like right here but you can't get to it till you get this off so it'll feel like this thing won't come out but it's just hanging onto this bracket that's a 10 millimeter in the front um, okay so now what we've got going here is um, we're waiting we've we've got a month or two so i went ahead and i uh, got a universal fan from autozone for like 70 dollars 16 16 inch uh universal fan and i liked this one because it was cheap and it's also already a polar fan so it's going to draw air rather than push air which is what we need and this is the original fan so i took this this used to be right here this was in here like this right and had the old fan on the front of it attached and so i took this whole assembly out and i cut it i cut it right here i left like one of these little blocks on i left just enough of the original frame pieces to attach so I've got a bolt going through to the, the ring around this universal fan. So this is a temporary fix. And I managed to get the um, connector off of the old fan so that I didn't have to cut this right here. I didn't want to lose my factory connector. So it's a T25, it's like three of these screws in the back. And then you can get, um, and then you can, um, and then this is underneath. I had to grind with a grinder to get this off. And, th and then I was able to get the connector out fairly easily. And uh, I don't recommend this. This is, this, is, this is kind of a crazy redneck hack, but this is what I did because my wife needed her car the next day. So last night from about 9 to 9 to 11, this is what I was doing. I took out her fan housing. I cut the housing uh, just with a multi-tool and, um, and so, so that I could put the housing back in with a universal fan attached to it and these bolts I, I didn't have any blue all threads so i used caulk and then i also came back behind afterwards with a hot glue gun and then the connector i soldered you know the new fan wire to the old fans connector and then i just covered it with hot glue from the hot glue gun and so that's that uh it's not the right way to fix something but it's how i did it and it's working great cheers love y'all